Hello everyone, I am Harsh along with Atul and Dux. Today we will explain the parts and function of tractors. So it's a Mahindra 265 diesel engine tractor. So we have to remove these parts to study and study the engine. So this is the air filter system. It's the exhaust pipes to with the final exhaust gas come out. So we have opened this. Uh -huh. Uh, so it's a three cylinder diesel engine uh, these there are three cylinders uh, these are the fuel injectors and uh, the it's there is a fan here you can see and it's uh, radiator is situated here so the coolant uh, comes from here passes uh, from here and cools this let's look at the dynamo uh, which provides electricity to different parts of tractor like horns and lamps uh, this is the belt which uh, drives this and it has the oil filter and uh, it's the battery so now let us see the mechanisms present at the rear end of the tractor so as you can see this is a, a power takeoff shaft which is also abbreviated as PTO it can be said as an extended drive shaft which is used to attach other agriculture equipments like harrows etc with the tractor and this is a pin which can be removed and a trolley system can be placed here after which it can be bolted it can be joined back uh, to get the trolley attached to the tractor and this entire system which you are seeing at the bottom is the trolley lifting mechanism which works by uh, hydraulics which is placed right here see the other systems in this tractor this is the uh, differential braking now uh, through which uh, different tires uh, tires can be braked differently uh, there is a uh, this hook which can be removed so that uh, braking brakings can be applied uh, differently and this can be again uh, attached so that braking can be applied uh, simultaneously now this is the uh, foot accelerator through which this tractor accelerates and this is the hand accelerator uh, now let us see the lifting system this is the uh, lifting system through which we control the hydraulic lift of the uh, trolley or anything attached to the tractor uh, this uh, th there are two levers to control the height and the speed of the lifting this is the pto lever and this is the gearing system which contains of a total of five gears out of which four are front gears and one is the reverse gear this right here is the clutch pedal let us take a look at the seating system so the seat is adjustable in two directions horizontal as well as vertical directions uh, the horizontal movement of the seat can be controlled by this lever right here for the vertical movement there is a lever present at the back side now let us look at the dashboard of this tractor this is the speedometer this is the fuel indicator and this indicates the temperature of the engine this is the other side of the dashboard here is present the horn here is present the direction indicator here is uh, the indicator through which we can adjust the light through this we can adjust the intensity of the light we can uh, also have parking lights from here so here is the lever through which we can adjust between the two operating conditions for which the tractor is designed these two operating conditions are low torque high speed and high torque low speed uh, low torque high speed condition is used when uh, tractor operates at on road conditions and high torque low speed condition is used when tractor operates in an agricultural field while plowing or doing some other thing or doing some other work now let us look how the motion is transferred from the engine to the wheels here is the front axle and another thing to note about it is that it doesn't rotate but still provide motion to the wheels now let us go to the rear axle so here is the rear axle on which the differential is mounted it provides different motion to the two wheels so it is a rear wheel differential here you can see the trailer hitch which joins the tractor with the trolley 